Hey YouTubers, how are you guys doing? So I wanted to do a um, favorites video. So I usually do my top five favorites. So I chose a good five option um, I want to share with you guys. I want to start off with the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. This one I just, um, I've seen it a lot but I never really gravitate using this at the store until my friend, my coworker actually was using it when we went on vacation and I borrowed hers because I forgot my highlight at home and I love it. It's amazing and it has a, a great glow. Um, so this is the Candlelight Glow Highlighting Powder Duo is what it's called. It looks like that. Super cute packaging. I love it. It's really like doll-like packaging. And this is how it looks like. So, really, really gorgeous. So it has dual side. One's pinky, one's more of a um, like Albatross NARS, more of a golden glow. You can either mix them both or you can just use one at a time. Um, I personally love it. Let me show you how it looks like real fast. I usually just use a nice like fluffy eyeshadow brush to apply it. You can use your fingers if you like. You don't have to use a brush. I like to mix both. And I usually just tap along right above my blush. And it gives you this nice golden sheen. You see that? So you can put it aside. This one gives you an amazing glow. And I love that three dimension glow, especially after my makeup. You want to bring a little bit of dimension back to your face. It looks amazing. Especially when the sun hits, you get this natural sheen on your face that doesn't look like you're oily or anything, which I like. So, yeah, looks really good. I love this stuff. Um, it's a 0.35 ounce, so there's a lot of product in here, I want to say. It's pretty big. I love, I love the packaging. So that is one of my favorites. Um, number two, these are not in any order, by the way. I just randomly grabbed them. I also want to mention the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. I recently purchased this. I mean, I heard reviews about it everywhere, and I never really came across to buying it. Um, this is number 25, by the way. It's my shade. Uh, I love it. It's really, really good. It's waterproof. It's a cream to powder finish. So basically, you apply it like as a paint, like you're painting on your brows. But it also gives that natural finish in the end when it dries up. So it doesn't give no crust or anything. It looks really natural. I'm wearing it right now. I like it a lot, actually. Um, just use the angle brush, whatever you prefer. So this one is waterproof, like it claims, and yeah, works really good. Yep. Um, next, number three, I want to say <clears throat> I'm loving this e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. So that's what it is. And basically what it is is a correcting powder, like it says. It has four quads of colors here. I basically use this as my under eye my under eye um, setting powder. So because I want that brightening effect, the like the white kind of lighter color there after I set my concealer with this. Also I like it because it's super soft and micro smooth when you do apply it for a um, for a condensed for a compact powder, it works really good, doesn't look cakey at all, it feels smooth. And also, I like that it's like tone correcting, so if I were to have any like dark circles that day, um, extra blue vein popping out of showing, this will help tone it down a lot better. So you won't have to <clears throat> pack on concealer, I just put a sheer layer of concealer and then put this on to set it. So that's what I like about it because I don't like any cake face, honestly. So I like that a lot. And I believe this is only like $3 and not $3.50 or something like that. I bought it at Target and it's pretty big. Um, I love it. So 
I highly recommend, especially if you're darker skin tone, this works even better because you don't have to use such a light concealer. You use a regular concealer that's somewhat similar to your shade, maybe one or two shades lighter than you. And put this on top and you have that nice white cast that is hella in right now. Four um, is this Tarte, um, Tarte version of a dip brow, like Anastasia has her dip brow that came out recently. That's like the hype right now, all the dip brows, like basically cream brows. I was never a big fan of cream brows, um, but until they made the ones that are dry to powder, just like the aqua brow. So this is a Tarte version, and I like this a lot. This is a medium brown. I'm going to show you medium brown because my hair is kind of light in the ends. I have the ombre going on. So this one works really well for me. Um, it's just a regular pot like. So all you do is just dip your angle brush in it. Um, yeah, nice and simple. I like this formulation because it's not super opaque. It's not super thick. Um, the Aqua Brow, it, if you put too much, it tends to get a little bit thick thicker so if you are new to applying any cream like um, brows I would go for the Tarte one first because it's more sheerer and forgiving versus the aqua brow um, I have played with the Anastasia dip brow I'm not that impressed with it I use on the client and I just felt like it was too thick like it's I feel like it's thicker than the aqua brow from makeup forever so I don't want to have to correct and fix when I'm like early in the morning trying to get ready for work. I don't want to have to go back and fix it and make it look more natural because I'm more of a natural brow like. Um, I don't like it really like square or thick or super obvious. It's shaded in because um, if you're far away, you can't tell my brows are really intense. I'm all about the brows. Like I'm, I have. A OCD thing about brows. I have to have good brows. So that's why I like this medium brown um, Tarte one better. It looks good, feels amazing. I also touched the Too Faced one. I haven't played with that one yet, but I did touch it. The texture feel. Um, it felt a little bit sticky, so I hope it does dry to a good powder finish. I'm not sure. I haven't played with that yet. This is fairly new too for the Too Faced one. And I believe they only have two shades though, so I'm like, that's not a lot of shades for brow people you know so not so not a lot of people can fall into that category of the two shades but yeah that's one of my favorites as well that's number four so last but not least number five is this Victoria's Secret mineral um, pressed bronzer so I never really tried um, any of Victoria's Secret's makeup honestly um, this was a gift from my co-worker my friend and this one is in called Glitterati. It's actually really pretty. It's like a baked bronzer. Almost like the mixture of Physician, uh, Physician's Formula and Max Mineralized Bronzers. Let me show you my MAC one. Hold on. The Cheeky Bronze. So this one, let me show you what it looks like. Comparison. Side by side. There you go. So this is the MAC one, and this is the Victoria's Secret one. I mean, size-wise, they look about the same. Of course, the colors are different. This one's more muddy. This one's more like reddish-orange um, bronze. Um, I personally could wear both. It depends on what blush I wear with it, the combo-wise. Better than paying, like, what... I think the mineralized bronzers are at least 36 or 38. Don't quote me on that. I, I'll post that up how much this is and I want to say the Victoria's Secret ones range from like 20 bucks or 22 um, most of the time you can find them on sale during their um, semi-annual sale which is like quite often I feel like it's more and more each year now um, packaging is really cute sleek nice bronze gold finish has a nice loud click so you know it's completely closed versus the MAC one it's it's kind of hard to figure out if it's really close or not. You don't really hear it much. It's kind of soft. That's all you hear. So sometimes it's difficult. Um, but yeah, I like that a lot. And yep, so that's that one. And this one has 5.8 grams in here, so 0.2 ounces. So I like this one a lot. It's actually really pigmented. Let me show you. I'm going to do a quick swatch and show you guys. So I'm just do one swatch. And you get color already, just like that. So, let me show you. 
just by one swipe. Look at that. That's pretty darn good for like, you know, not a high fancy brand um, cosmetic line. So I'm pretty impressed. I was in shock. Yeah, so those are my five favorites right now for this month, which is uh, February. Do you guys want me to do a tutorial? Feel free to comment below and let me know what you guys think. Um, what, do you, what kind of colors you guys would like to be incorporated for the look. I'm probably just going to do one look, honestly. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone had a great new year. Um, have a great uh, Lunar New Year as well as the year of the horse. So if you are horoscope of the horse, I <laughs> wish you the best of luck because usually when you're the same um, zodiac as the year, it tends to be kind of difficult for you to have a great year. Um, that's just a saying, so please do be careful. Mm, I think I'm going to do another haul video after this video, so I'll see you later. Bye!